All right, I think it's time to address this comment here by Mike Peterson. He says, knowledge sure is increasing. We find out more and more that everything we thought to be true has been inverted, subverted, outright a lie. A timeline would be automatically high pri priority to mess with. I forget the reason, but I looked the year 40, 1492. Look at the list of calendars. All right, so let's go look at the list of calendars. I'm not sure. All right, so I might have to do that. Do it this way. Here. I'm not sure. Oh, the list of calendars. There we go. We got the Gregorian calendar, the Ab Urba Candidia. I'm not going to be able to say these words. I have enough trouble saying English words. But, okay. Um, am I missing something here? Yeah, so I'm not sure that uh, I would be able to make sense or, you know, sort of process a thought regarding all these. Um, you know, uh, I just don't know. 1492 in various calendars so my guess is 1492 is um, is the year so 2245 would be the equivalent of 1492 all right so Assyrian calendar 6242 oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy so I'm not sure that I would be able to make any there's the Julian calendar it's 1492 so I'm <clears throat> yes it's interesting for sure why are, you know what are all these dates based on and of course the Gregorian calendar is based on the fact that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin and that's that marks the year zero <clears throat> okay so for example it people call it uh, you know the year 2022 AD AD means Anno Domini and Anno Domini means year of the Lord Jesus Christ so AD is after is um, is not after death it is anno domini and then of course bc is before christ so um of course people that hate the lord jesus christ are going to change ad to ce common era and then they'll change bc before christ to bce before common era and it's crazy how much it's crazy to the level or the extent that people go to um, because of their hatred for the Lord Jesus Christ so this all this calendar stuff is interesting no question about it I'm just not to the point where I'm able to conclusively put anything together but I do appreciate um, you sharing this stuff 1492 isn't it 1492 is that one yeah uh, so I think it was assumed that Christopher Columbus came to America but it turns out he didn't right it turns out he he missed it he went down Central America I think or something like that so anyways is there anything else here that uh, of significance first surviving globe of the earth so the Erterferfer is a terrestrial globe produced by Martin Berhorn from 1490 to 1492 the Erterferfer is the oldest surviving terrestrial globe 
It is constructed of a laminated linen ball in two halves, reinforced with wood and overlaid with a map painted on gores by George Glockendum. Okay, so anyways, who cares? Uh, it's interesting. I got something very similar to that. I wonder if I got a replica of that. But uh, regardless, right there, it's by... If you go by this as the gospel truth this is the oldest earth and that the oldest globe earth is 500 years old that right there is conclusive evidence conclusive proof that all the people with Jesus they all believe the earth was flat and Abraham and his children all believed the earth was flat and Adam and Eve believed the earth was flat Noah they all believed the earth was flat it was not until this map or globe whatever came along so anyway it's interesting yeah I'm telling you uh, it's fishy at the very least it's very fishy very fishy